Hi, welcome to video number two of uh, forest applications of the Google Earth Engine um, performed by Fundecor Costa Rica. Very quickly in the first video we're actually um, able to see the first imagery that was captured with uh, UAV technology. We call on the attributes thanks to the JavaScript console that is available with this platform we're able to view that this imager that we capture with the UAV vehicle contains four bands your usual RGB red green and blue and also band number four which stands for near infrared having acquired these four bands we are actually looking at multi-spectral imagery at high resolution levels so one of the things that we can do is compare um, the NDVI, the Normalized Vegetation Index, and look at how healthy the vegetation is in this landscape. So we're actually calling here on the background the Global Forest Change by Hansen layer filtered by NDVI. So we're actually looking right now at the same landscape um, with a 30 meter pixel resolution and then when we place on top of it um, our imagery capture with UAV we can actually see uh, pretty good change in detail so we're actually talking about two different resolutions here and the scales of detail many things are I suppose you could say hidden when you're working at this scale but when you're looking at the 30 meter layer from the soil to the canopy levels we can actually encounter more detail thanks to what um, this high resolution imagery is able to capture for us so um, you're looking here at the canopy levels of this forested area the darker green are actually the healthiest and tallest trees in this scenario and of course the orange and red tones correspond to um, coverages that are not related to vegetation at all in this case this is the river so just take a look at the resolution of things here this would be Landsat and this would be the very same area with uh, UAV imagery at high resolution thanks to the cloud computer uh, power of uh, the Google Earth Engine. Thank you for your attention.